Hey guys, it's Joby and welcome back to my channel. So listen, I want to talk to you today about Bad Bunny, okay? I want to talk to you today about Bad Bunny and him hurling a fan's phone, okay? And my opinion of that, right? Why'd he do it? He told us why he do it. I have an article that I'm here to pull up and read with y'all. And I just want to discuss um boundaries all right we've been discussing a lot of this especially since the year started like having boundaries and expectations from people right and even as fans do we really expect it's not like a justin bieber situation where you know you can't say anything about them or you know everybody have to have an nda but can someone dance as a celebrity just as a person without someone else trying to force a phone into their face to take a picture to take a video you know just forcing their will on you i don't know um but we're gonna get into it so i'm gonna drop this intro and then we're gonna go ahead and get on with the rest of the show all right okay <laughs> Okay, guys, so we're back. Um, I've got this article from Rolling Stone, okay? Bad Bunny uh, cites fan lack of respect after throwing their phone. Those who came to put a damn phone in my face, I consider that what it is, a lack of respect, and I'll treat it that same way. Now, listen, I'm not even going to hold you. I don't like people taking pictures of me without my permission. I don't like people taking pictures of me, posting pictures of me, any of that stuff without my express like permission. You can ask me, you know, I'm not going to post anyone's picture. And I also think it's an invasion of privacy to even be recording people, right? Recording people in situations, spaces. You don't know who's going to see your video. You don't know how that is going to affect their lives, right? I told y'all I was out on New Year's, but by the time I was like, you know, ready to take pictures in front of the big old 2023 sign, it was a bunch of people there. And I just didn't want to have other people caught up in my pictures. I had been faded faces and all of this shit. Ain't nobody going to go through that, right? I guess people don't seem to understand any anymore, you know, that everything is not for everybody, okay? Every personal conversation that man might have been having while he drunk and he lit and he dancing up on somebody was not for someone to come and try to record, right? And, and to be on the shade room in five freaking minutes after that. But I'm going to read a little bit of this article. Again, it's by Rolling Stone. Bad Bunny had responded after a video showing him grab and throwing a fan's phone in the DR. On Twitter, he wrote that people who come up to him and shove a phone in his face are showing a lack of respect. I personally think you should ask me before you pull out your phone and try to take a picture with me. I ain't going to hold you. I believe that a thousand percent. I just believe it. It is what the fuck it is. Okay. That's me. Um, and that he will treat that kind of behavior in the same way. <laughs> disrespectful okay the now viral clip which began circulating monday captures a woman standing in front of the puerto rican artist as he walks down the street with a group of friends she holds a phone up to his face but bad bunny snatches it out of her hand and tosses it in another direction the woman looks shocked and a voice off camera explains wow really yes what the fuck yes Okay, someone in a group replies, you have to respect his space. You have to respect his space. Yes, what's wrong with people? Where did we forget that you do not have the right to invade my freaking personal space? You don't have that right. And whatever happens to you after you attempt to do that is on you. It doesn't matter how much you like me. It doesn't matter how much you think you know me. You don't know me. Don't do that. It's rude. It's disrespectful. I hate when people even send me too much messages. Like, bitch, you don't know me. Calm down. <laughs> um, the now, okay, keep going. Let's keep going. People were divided by his actions on social media. Some people defended his rights to protect his boundaries and called the fan out for violating his space. Others thought he took things too far and that she should have asked the woman to leave him alone instead. I don't have to ask. Did you, did you ask to, to invade my space? 
Did she ask to invade his space? So why I must ask you to get the fuck out of here? If I push your ass down, I'm the wrong one. You shouldn't have been in my space to begin with. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I said what I said. I'm sorry, but I said what I said. Bad Bunny defended himself on Twitter. Anyone who comes up to me to say hello, to tell me something, or just to meet me, will always receive my attention and respect. Yes. OK, he wrote those who come and put a damn phone in my face. I'll consider that for what it is. I lack the respect and I'll treat you that way. Listen, I don't need to read no more of this article. Listen, he said what he said and other people say it and they freaking mean it. If what's one thing, you know, you come up to me, you're trying to have a conversation. I've had people do that. You know, pe people have people do that. You know, it's still sometimes it could be a lot. But to like you're trying to everything nowadays people are trying to videotape and like blast or trying to get a little bit of clout over a little bit of bullshit. And like, ain't nobody have the, the time, the anxiety for all of that. I don't need to have to say, well, damn, just pull the camera in front of my face. I'm on now. No, a hello, a hello. Can I take a picture with you? That's a beautiful thing. Hello. If the lady would have said, hello, can I take a picture with her? He probably would have took the goddamn picture. But you don't get to just force your will on people. I said what the fuck I said. And if you don't like it, I don't go 